Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the leaks for counter side Southeast Asia for September 15 and 22. But before that, if you would have updated counter side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so here we are at the leaks for September 15 and September 22. First and foremost, for September 15, it's going to be a rerun of the Wicked Hilde banner. So for those who haven't gotten her yet, um, now is a good time to pull for her. Unless if you want to save for the next uh, new banner. But we're going to also have a pass or the Seasons Pass again. So it's going to be um, Edith Twins. So I'm not going to discuss Edith Twins actually um, as part of this video. Um, I'll probably discuss uh, discuss her once the counter pass is actually out. So more or less, both of them are going to be out in the, in the next couple of days, probably two days. Um, but on September 22, it's also rumored that we'll be getting the Alpha Tricks Innovation Challenge Mode. So this is going to be another tab in your challenge mode that we will be getting and also there is a rumor that the dorm will surface on september 22 simultaneous with the taiwanese server so both southeast asia and taiwan will be getting the dorm so the same event uh, was ran for the first time during the recent ui rework in korea and both taiwan and southeast asia are getting it at the same time it's highly likely that taiwan and and, and southeast asia will get the client update a sword so dorm implant removal etc is likely coming on 22 slash 09 which is september 22. okay guys so for those of you who haven't you know or, or have you know kind of not familiar with the layout of our menu so our menu is actually laid out in a like a Toblerone or a triangle um, kind of cylinder, cylindrical type, no, not cylindrical type, a triangle type which is long, it's a long block triangle and don't want to don't describe it but you know what I mean. So it's three phases, one, two, three. So basically what they did was this part of the menu, they laid it out in terms of a building or a facility. Okay, guys, so what you have here in front of you is actually the new layout of that menu. So that menu um, that was was rotating is going to look like this. So it's going to be a sprawling um, facility um, that we will have more engagements in terms of the units that are there, in terms of the facilities. So let's take a look at the other um, areas. So this is going to be your CEO office. So we're usually at the ceo office for level up for um for what else but for other things um that we do in the sea for scouting so it's actually there so it's going to look like this more or less it's going to be you know very interactive with the ceo right here so next would be um this is where um ships will be crafted so it's it looks like a machine shop wherein um Ships will be constructed, will be repaired, will be upgraded. So it's going to look like this. Next would be, this is basically where we're doing our crafting. So crafting of, um, of gear, all sorts of crafting is going to be here. So this is what, it, uh, what it's going to look like. Then from here, this is going to be your um, um, implants going to be taken away. So. More or less, this is your um, enhancements in terms of your units. So this will, you know, it's going to look like this more or less. Then this one, it, this is kind of new. Um, this is probably the lobby towards your dormitory because I, I don't think we have this. So this is your lobby. So that is your, on your right side is going to be your reception. So more or less, there's a lot of interaction. There will be furnitures um, in play in terms of our dormitory to decorate. Very interactive. And I think that certain furnitures have certain effects to our units. And also, as you can see here, um, we'll be able to buy um, furniture using crystals. So I hope it's not that expensive. So more or less, 
again, the dorm will be customizable. Uh, I'm sure there will be dorm tasks involved. So more or less, this is what um, we're expecting. So aside from the dorm, it's going to be a whole facility that's coming to us. Okay, so for your KR patch notes, so this is the dev notes that we had for the KR um, release of this uh, update. So we hinted at the system at the beginning of the year, but the development started a few months ago. So we're ready to add a dorm to the game. So as you can see, there are a lot of furniture ready. Um, so designing all the themes, furniture, and this is going to be your lobby as well. As you saw there in the picture that I showed you before. Again, um, beautiful, beautifully created lobby, and there's a statue in the in the middle. So this is going to be um, probably a room where your units will stay in. So not everything is visible in the screenshots, and these are there may be hidden details. Probably you could interact with the drawer, with the cabinet. You know, um, it's really you know it. I don't really have any idea yet on what we're going to expect. So we're prepared to add sets of interactive furniture that shows the employee's personality and, and fits the seasons. Okay, so again, as I've said earlier and I showed you, there is going to be furniture. And aside from crystals, there are some furniture, I think, that can be bought through admin, admin coins. I'm not sure what this is, but this is more of a design space. So admin coins and quartz can be used for furniture, decorate, and more or less again the headquarters will be um, no it it will be reworked as you saw earlier. It's a new layout. The menu will be in in a new layout, and there will be um, a big factor for business cards. I'm not going to all the details for this. This um, dev note for the KR release, I'm going to put in the description so you can you could um, um, read through the, the the updates that are going to be um, carried with the dorm. I'm not sure about this, but again, it's part of the release, so I'm you know I'm also looking forward that this would be um, also included in the improvements for the dorm recruitment changes as well. Um, so I won't discuss on this. You can actually read through uh, the, the dev notes that I'll be uh, attaching. Um, one that I will be, um, what do you call this, uh, discussing would be the implant system removal because it was mentioned. So we decided to scrap the implant system because it forces players to sacrifice quite a lot of time to farm N and R rarity employees. So this is going to be good for new players and lower rarity trophies will now give credits instead of ownerless business cards that when you discard them okay so that's it so we also have some skins additional skins that will be out so this is kind of looking to be like evelyn and claudia skins so it's good that claudia will be getting her skin and also evelyn because we've been using them so much and more or less guys those are the leaks that i have for september 15 and september 22 so again guys this is just a speculation or a rumor so but there is going to be a high percentage that this will drop so okay guys so basically for those who have stuck in this video please um, consider subscribing also click that bell icon and don't forget to put a like to this video Again, guys, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.